What's going on guys, Airplane75 here, and today I have another little review for you. Nothing really special, it's just I have my iPod here, and I'm going to go over the best uh, top 10, 15 uh, weather apps for your iPod Touch, iPhone, iPad. So, here's my iPod here. I turned the brightness up as much as it could go. I don't know if that helps at all. Um... So we're going to go through, here's my home screen, and the weather is my second page through, so we'll go just through them one by one. The first one you have is just the regular uh, iPod app for weather, let's just go back and forth, I got uh, Union Pier and Elmhurst, so that is basic stuff, nothing too great. I've got, next one in line is the Weather Channel Max. This one is like $4, I think, in the App Store, and it's well worth it. So first, you could put in as many locations as you want, and to scroll through them, all you have to do is just slide your finger over, and it goes to the next one, and back over to where I live. So this is just a little review of this. This is the Weather Channel Max. You've got your hourly, 36-hour, 10-day which really, other than three days ahead in advance, they don't really know what's going to happen. And some stuff about the beach. Down here at the bottom, you have the map. You can explore the map. I got it set up so you can see cloud cover and stuff. You got videos, all sorts of videos. I'll use us, international, severe warnings, and some more stuff. Now, so this is that's my favorite, most useful app for all around conditions. Next one I have Radar Scope. This one is awesome for radar. You can do anything with this. You have, there's your KLOT radar based in, uh, uh, what was that? I think Harper College. I don't remember. Um, and so you could just click on any radar and it'll just bring you up to that area. So I'll stick with KLOT. Um, down here you could just hit this and it'll find your location where you are there and you have all sorts of different radars echo tops all storm ref reflectivity velocity base reflectivity enhanced reflectivity all sorts of good stuff and of course you can play it animate it and information just some settings you can put in here uh, warnings see that um so yeah that's one of my favorite uh radars and as we go into this area over here where i keep these apps just these i don't use them as much but they come in handy sometimes uh air weather let this load up um no i don't want them to this you can find out about METARs and TAFs for flying the airplane at Chicago to Page. See, it's all weird stuff. So that's good for aviation. Keep moving on. Daylight. This is good. Tells you the sunset, um, sunrise, sunset of in your area. Weather Planet. This one is really cool. The only reason I don't use this is because it takes forever to load up and it's really touchy. But it's cool with hurricanes because it gives you up-to-date satellite images of the clouds and stuff. Um, here, you can zoom in and this is how you have to select, which is kind of annoying. You have to get it in the crosshairs and hit more. it does take a while um so you get tons of stuff i like this because you get you can get the NOAA weather radio on here but i'll show you what i have better in a few minutes this is just real basic stuff nothing really cool the only thing i liked about this was the you can get the entire world and stuff and yeah so moving on to the next one thunder time if you actually ever use this uh, you see the lightning, and you touch start, and then you wait a while, and then, okay, then you start to, you hear the thunder, 
and then it'll tell you how far away it is. Which is okay, but most of the time you'd never use that. Uh, the next one I have is just the regular Weather Channel app. This is the free one. Which I just use the Max, just because it gives you a couple other things with severe weather and stuff. See, this is just all basic. It doesn't even... It's slow, too. Uh, just regular radar. I don't know if I have this one. I'm just using this in case radar scope ever goes down or whatever. What not, but nothing too spark too great in this one. Just very basic radar. And then weather trivia, which doesn't really even work at all. Moving on, I have uh, NOAA weather radio. This is cool because I have a NOAA weather radio, but I have it off most of the time. Because I'm not in my house and my mom freaks out when it goes off, so... I can just show you, you hit favorites, this is just the one in my area. Oops. Wednesday night, partly cloudy. Temperatures nearly steady in the lower 20s. East winds around 10... See, so, nothing great. Uh, weather bug, I like this one because it's... I have a weather bug station not far from here, a couple blocks down at Visitation School, so I get up-to-date weather information right in my area. It's the only reason I have that. Google Earth is just cool and whatnot, and Storm Alert. If you're in Wi-Fi, your iPad will start making sounds if a, um, if a severe weather approaches your area. So yeah, that was the top 10 uh, weather app reviews that I have. Um, so you, I'll just bring it up again, show you what I got. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. But yeah, please uh, subscribe and get ready for spring. I just got spring fever, so thanks for watching.